On July 1st, Senate Bill 56 officially became law in Florida, banning the release of chemicals and other substances into the atmosphere for the purpose of altering factors like temperature, weather, climate, or sunlight intensity. I did some digging and found while NOAA does not participate in cloud seeding or other weather modification projects. The Weather Modification Reporting Act of 1972 requires anyone who intends to engage in weather modification in the U.S. to provide a report to NOAA at least 10 days prior to the activity. I looked through their database and found Rainmaker Technology Corporation, who in January filed a precipitation enhancement project on the Gulf Coastline. We fly drones into clouds to disperse material that induces precipitation, to mitigate drought, wildfire risk, um, enhance water supply for farms, utilities, and governments. Augusta Storico is the CEO of Rainmaker. He tells me while they don't have an operational program in Florida, his goal is to regulate and safely increase water supply at the discretion of the state and potential customers like farms. I just care about our country having like the best technology for its agriculture and for its industry and cloud seeding as of the last few years because we've proven that it works. I listened to Dorico explain while many are concerned about flooding from man-made rain, it only produces up to a few centimeters of rain, which would be very hard to flood a place with cloud seeding alone.